Hi guys! I've been really lazy with uploading and I'm really sorry, but I'm back, so no worries. Um, yeah, I'm actually here for a product review. So the product I'm going to be reviewing is Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard. And this is a really famous, no, I don't want to say famous, but um, a pretty well-known gel in the natural hair community. A lot of people love this and um, it's really recommended. I bought this gel before I even did my big chop because I was so excited. I bought a lot of stuff before actually cutting my hair. But um, yeah, I've had this for a long time and... Yeah, I've only used half of it, and I'm going to tell you guys why. Okay, so I'm going to start with the pros. Um, pros for this product... Um, <laughs> I would say the pro... Okay, for one thing, the ingredients are all natural, um, and that's not very um, common to find in gels. Um, but all of these ingredients are organic, so that's really nice if you like to stay away from synthetic products in your hair. This is a good option for you. Um, another thing that I really, really like about it is how it smells. This stuff, it's called custard for a reason. It, like, I smell it and every single time I smell it, I want to eat it. Like, it smells that good. It smells like something sweet. I don't know. It's, it smells like custard. It's... I want to eat this stuff, but I won't. Another thing that I really like about this gel is unlike a lot of popular natural hair products, you can actually find this in stores. This is sold um, at Target. Now if you don't have a Target near you, you're kind of out of luck, you have to order online, but um, just the fact that it's actually available in a physical store is enough for me. Now. Let's move on to the cons. Okay, what I don't like about this gel. For one, I don't know if you can tell, but this is a, not a very big jar. This jar is six, this is eight, eight ounces. This is the eight ounce jar. For this little jar, you pay $16.99. So 17 bucks for eight ounces. That is more than $2 an ounce. Um, I understand it's all, in, um, all organic and all that, but not really filling that price range. For the larger jar, which is twice the size, 16 ounces, 16 ounces, you will pay $30. So I'm not a fan of the price, especially when you get a, what, a 32 ounce tub of Eco Styler for five bucks and it works great, at least for my hair. Um, yeah, but the price is a big turn off for me with this gel. Another thing that I don't really like is the consistency. Um, I don't necessarily want to take it out, but this this doesn't feel like your average gel. This is a lot of gels are either sticky or watery. Like I would say, my Eco Styler is a sticky gel, and like my LA Looks gel or like my Tresemme gel, those are watery gels. This is okay. I'm gonna show you guys. This is more like slimy. See, see how it's like hanging? It's it's very smooth. It's a very smooth consistency, but I would say it's more like slimy than other gels. Um, and because of the consistency, it feels really weird going onto your hair. Um, and I'm not the only one that I've heard say this. A lot of people say, they comment on how the curling custard feels um, a little weird going on. It, it, it doesn't feel like a normal gel. It doesn't feel like... There's really nothing I can compare it to. It feels its own special way, um, but I don't like it. It um, it feels like the gel itself is like slippery and almost slimy, but it, it feels funny going on to my hair. I can't really describe it, but I don't like the way it feels. Okay, so the last thing that I really didn't like about the Kinky Curly Curling Custard was the results it gave me. Um... For me, this stuff has been very, very hit or miss. That's why I've only used half of the jar, and I've had it for, like, over six months now. Um, I, I never know what to put this with. 
it's recommended to use the not today conditioner as a leave-in under this gel but that conditioner is like I'm trying to remember exactly how much the not today costs but I, I, I want to say it's somewhere around like somewhere around like 15 or 20 bucks for like eight ounces of product which is like my I don't have a bottle with me but it's, it's, it's like the size of my um curls creme brulee which I have a picture of on my blog um it's just a regular you know bottle of product that for the amount that I would have to use to use it as a conditioner and a detangler I would go through that amount in like two or three uses so I'm not paying that much especially if I do my hair every few days I'd be going through a bottle like every week and a half two weeks so I refuse to use that as a leave-in with this gel. I refuse to just because of the price and the amount that you get. If it was cheaper and you got more of it and I could actually see myself having that product for a long time, then I would use the Not Today with it. But it, I think that's absolutely unacceptable. Sorry. Um, but yeah, my hair, when I use this, I used it yesterday and um, I used it with um, Tresemme Naturals conditioner underneath as a leave-in and then this on top, which I've done before and I actually had really nice results. Um, so I don't, I don't know. Yesterday it was like, there was definition on the very ends of my hair, not really so much at the roots. Um, it was, there, there was like almost no hold. My hair was super soft, which you know, soft hair is great, but if it looks like nothing was done to it it's like what's the point you know um it just the the definition that I did get just was not on par with what I get with eco styler and I just really didn't like it at all I was really mad at my hair yesterday but I didn't want to like you know just rinse it out and redo it just because of one bad hair day I figure since I'm trying to get my hair to my waist I'm gonna have a lot of bad hair days so you know, no need in go going through the extra steps of rewashing it and all that just to have it look the way it normally does. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry. My final thoughts on the Kinky Curly Curling Custard are a no. I do much, much, well, I, I shouldn't say I, but my hair does much, much better with the cheaper gels, like the Eco Stylers and stuff like that. Um, for the amount that you have to pay... For the quantity of product you get, I don't think this is worth it, especially when you have to try so many different ways to use it and see what works with it. And like they say, you have to play with different amounts and all of that, which is understandable. You have to do that with any product. But I feel like with this, you really, really, really have to play with it much more than you do other products. And it's an expensive product to just be testing out just to try in your hair. And I don't like that. So I'm sorry, my final thought is a no on the Kinky Curly Curling Custard, but um, just because it didn't work in my hair and I don't like the results I got with it, doesn't mean that it won't work for you. So if you decide to try the Curling Custard, let me know what you think about it. If you have tried it, let me know what you think about it and leave your comments down below. And please don't forget to hit subscribe up above. And I would also really appreciate it if you guys would rate. It'll help my channel out. It'll help people find my videos. So if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up and I will see you all later. Bye.